Good morning, Cornerstone Kids. Can you believe this is our final week in the series of Meals of Jesus? Don't forget, you can also grab your own copy of the Meal of Jesus book, written by Ed Jewell from Faith and Kids. And then you could read these passages together as a family. You will be transported to the dinner table alongside Jesus. And you can again, once again, see for yourselves who Jesus really is and why you can trust in him. Over the last eight weeks, we have seen Jesus sitting down with many different people. People like Levi, the tax collector, sisters Mary and Martha, some Pharisees and little Zacchaeus. So many different people. And now today, you are invited to a party. Not just any party, but the greatest party ever. And Jesus is the host. I am sure we have been to lots of different parties at some point. Perhaps a big birthday party or a garden party or maybe even a wedding party. So I want you to have a little think about what you really, really love the most about parties. And then when I count to three, I want you to shout them out really, really loud so I can hear. Are you ready? One, two, three. Wow, that is a lot of things. Well, just imagine being at a party with all of those things. I really like parties with blues and lots of party music and there's no party complete without some party things. Well, one day Jesus was telling some people about a story about a rich man who was hosting a really big party. The tables were all set, the food was ready, and all that was needed was the guests to arrive. Then there was a knock at the door. As the first guest arrived, but instead of coming into the party, the first guest said, I'm really sorry, but I have just bought a big field and I need to go and check the grass in the field. Hmm, that's a bit of a strange reason not to come in. Then the second guest arrived. But again, instead of coming into the party, he said, I know I said I would come to your party, but I have just bought some cows and I need to check they haven't fallen over. Again, the rich man thought this was a bit of a funny excuse not to come into the party. But finally, the next guest arrived. And this one said, I'm really sorry, my diary was free and I was all set to come to your party, but I just got married and I wanted to stay at home with my wife. So he turned out, turned around and didn't come into the party. How very strange. All of these guests had excuses not to come, but surely the field wasn't going anywhere. And I'm pretty sure that the cows would have still been there after the party and the married man could have bought his wife. Clearly, these guests didn't realise how truly amazing this party was going to be. And now the rich man felt sad. He still wanted to fill his party with lots of people. So instead, he went out and found lots of other people that he wouldn't normally invite. He found the poor people with no money, some sick people, lonely people and sad people. And these were the people that nobody else would have normally wanted to come to their party. But instead, the rich man invited them all. So why did Jesus tell this story? Well, Jesus is going to be hosting a really big party. And this party is going to be even better than the richest man's party. It's going to be a thousand times better than one that me or you have been to. And Jesus is going to invite us. Wow. But unfortunately, just like Jesus' man's rich party, some people will say no to coming to Jesus because they think that other things are more important and these things will stop them seeing how amazing Jesus is and why we shouldn't let anything be more important than being with Jesus. Jesus will want to fill his party and will want to invite lots and lots of people. 
In every story, when Jesus had a meal with different people, he welcomed the sinners, the broken, and the people nobody else wanted. His party will be filled with all of those people. And if you have said yes to Jesus, then you will be one of those people at his party. And it will be the greatest party ever. Everything you love about parties will be there. And the best part is that Jesus will be there welcoming us all in. Now for your craft this week, you can make a special invitation to Jesus' party. You can write your name on it and write some of the things that you're most looking forward to at Jesus' party. Then you can colour it in, make it glittery or sparkly and make it really stand out. Have fun!